Picture from the field. So you're seeing high pressure gas, two PSI. You're the inspector. What are you going to say about this picture? Anything? So we'll talk about the spacing here. That spacing between labeling 10 feet. Anything wrong with this label? Doesn't tell type of gas. In this case, it was natural. So the yellow is indicating we have high pressure. Typically, your code book says elevated. It is elevated. A lot of inspectors will let high pressure go, but it's really what we call elevated pressure because when you get into details of what is truly high pressure, it's not 2 PSI. It's elevated pressure. It's elevated over um, what we require for a half PSI, 14 inches water column in the piping system. Some inspectors are uncomfortable with when you have a elevated gas pressure system and the whole entire pipe is not painted yellow. What's good about this? We're showing the direction of fuel, the flow direction with the arrows. Codebook doesn't tell you you have to do that. It's always a good thing to do, though. A little bit uncomfortable with the usage of the words high pressure. Two PSI, perfect, because that's what your code book says. Every 10 feet, part of the violation here would be, shit, I'm on the roof. Is it natural gas or propane? Not hard to figure out. But when the fire department or somebody responds here to an emergency and they're dealing with gas, that's a huge deal, actually because your labeling requirements are really part of public safety so that somebody who's not as educated as you are can walk up onto that roof as a firefighter or whatever and know what's going on. So when you don't do your job, I'll leave somebody go, oh, no, I got high pressure, 2 PSI, I get that. Is it hydrogen? Is it natural gas? Is it propane? Doesn't really say. Can you figure it out? Yeah. If you have some experience in gas fitting, can figure it out. Can't leave anything to the imagination, especially in an emergency condition. So those are just some really cool pointers. Hopefully you made some notes.